Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to make nickel chloride. So as you know, the nickel compounds are a little bit expensive. So I bought some uh, nickel sheets. This is a pure nickel sheet. Uh, you can see here in the right side. And I have already cut 5 grams of nickel metal uh, into little pieces. So now what we are going to do is take these 5 grams of nickel metal and react this metal with concentrated hydrochloric acid. So first we need to concentrate hydrochloric acid. So I have taken about 20 milliliters of concentrate hydrochloric acid. Now I am going to show you the reaction first. Uh, so here I am going to add a little piece of nickel metal into this hydrochloric acid. After about 10 seconds, now you can see the nickel is reacting with concentrate hydrochloric acid very slowly because the reactivity of nickel is very low. So now I am going to add all other nickel metal pieces. Then I am going to heat this mixture very slowly and I am not going to boil the solution. I am going to let the solution react its own. Then let's see what we can do next. Okay, now you can see here, this is a solution of nickel chloride. So, I have to mention that after about one hour, I realized that the reaction is too slow. So, I just stopped the heating, then I kept this solution in a warm place for three days. And after three days, you can see the solution like this. So, and still there is about few grams of nickel metal left in the solution. So now I am not going to wait to react this nickel metal with the hydrochloric acid. I am going to filter this solution and continue the procedure with the this nickel chloride solution. And I have to say if you have nickel oxide or nickel carbonate you can do the experiment with that so if you don't have that nickel oxide or nickel carbonate uh, you only have nickel metal so you can do the experiment with nickel metal that but the thing is the procedure is too slow so you have to wait and I had to wait three days to get this much of nickel chloride and I need to mention I also added about another 20 milliliters of concentrate hydrochloric acid so if you have nickel oxide or nickel carbonate you can uh, do the experiment with that and remember just use the stoichiometric uh, ratio correct ratio After the filtration, this is the nickel chloride solution. So this solution contains uh, extra amount of hydrochloric acid. So we need to evaporate this hydrochloric acid as well as we need to reduce the volume. Then we, we can get the nickel chloride crystals. 
So now I am going to heat this reaction and evaporate all hydrogen chloride gas in this solution and reduce the volume. After reducing the volume, here is our nickel chloride solution. So I just let the solution cool down to room temperature, but I didn't see any crystals forming. So this is a very concentrated uh, nickel chloride solution. Now I am going to remove the rest of the water by keeping this in a desiccator. Actually, in this moment, I don't have a desiccator. So I am going to use a nice setup. That is, uh, we can use uh, instead of a desiccator. So here I have some anhydrous calcium chloride in this container and I have a Ziploc bag. So now I am going to add both these containers into this Ziploc bag. Okay, and now this Calcium chloride Ziploc bag act as a desiccator. So let's keep this solution few days and let's see the nickel chloride crystals. Okay, after five days, our products final product is look like this. So the nickel chloride is completely drained out. And this is the hexahydrate product. If you make anhydrous product that will be not green in color, that will be yellowish brown color. So I didn't make anhydrous nickel chloride. This is hydrated one, nice green color compound. 